If you're making your own cables to use with outboard preamps or compressors, you may occasionally need to work with quarter inch plugs. Line inputs take quarter inch balance plugs, and so do my interface's analog outputs. This week I had to once again become familiar with the Neutrik Stereophone Plug, or the NP3X, which of course is a Neutrik plug with three connectors. The first being the casing or the body of the plug, which is used to connect the ground. The second being this center contact point, which is used to connect the hot or colored wire, blue in this video. And our third point of contact is this little wingtip off to the side, which is used to connect the neutral or clear wire. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of real estate to work with when soldering, and I found that these plugs were much more difficult to work with than the XLR connectors used in my DIY snake video. Video. So here's a video dedicated to working with quarter inch stereo Neutrik plugs. Give some love to DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. Let DistroKid be your direct connection to streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music. DistroKid artists can upload as much music as they want for one low annual fee, and DistroKid never takes a cut of your earnings. To find out why DistroKid is trusted by over a million artists worldwide, use the link in the description to get 7% off your first year's subscription with DistroKid. The initial preparation is just like what we went through making XLR cables, but I'll briefly outline it here. Begin by cutting your cables to length, making sure to leave yourself a little bit extra. I'll be making several 6 foot cables to connect up some preamps and outboard gear. Next, before going any further, add your boot ends before stripping your wire ends. It's much easier to do it this way, but it's also easy to forget, which I did several times. Then you're going to strip your cable ends by carefully scoring along the rubber jacket until you see copper, and be incredibly careful not to tear the copper. Once the jacket is removed, twist the copper wire into a braid to form the ground. Trim the plastic bits that are just there to help the cable keep its shape. Then you're going to strip your wire ends. Once this is done, you can tin your wires with solder. This will help keep all of the copper together and create a better bond with the plug terminals. Apply a thin bead of solder to the edge of the outer casing, as well as the two central contact points. Finally, trim your ends to the length of each of your contact points. The ground will be the shortest piece, so it's not getting in the way of the core contacts. And you'll want to trim this after it's been tinned, so you don't release a bunch of rogue copper wires all over the place. The hot wire will also be noticeably shorter to fit inside the center of the core contact. The neutral wire can be longer than the other two. Now, if you're soldering with unbalanced quarter inch plugs, you can still follow along because you're going to have a similar workflow, but it's going to be much simpler to wire because you only have the hot wire and the ground wire. If you're using balanced wire like the Mogami cable shown in this video and you want to create an unbalanced end, you can short the neutral wire by twisting it into the ground wire and this will create an unbalanced cable. Up next, we'll tackle the soldering process, which can be a little bit tricky with these stereo quarter inch plugs. Once all your wire ends and plug contacts are tinned to ensure a strong bond, begin by securing the ground wire to the left side of the plug casing. I definitely found this one to be tricky. Try and tack it in place and then slowly add more solder to secure it in place, especially from underneath. To me, this was really tricky because I found that I kept getting greedy and trying to add more solder and sometimes that would heat up the whole thing and cause it to release. Once the ground is secured, you can work the colored wire into the center position and solder it into place. Use a good bead of solder to make sure that you get a strong connection. Finally, secure the neutral wire and solder it into place. If you've got steady hands and a thin tin job on the wire, you might be able to thread it through the hole. Otherwise, just tack it on top and trim off the excess. Now I want to warn you, this can get incredibly hot, so some kind of high dexterity, heat resistant glove is recommended for your offhand. This makes it so much easier to secure in place, because anywhere you're going to want to apply pressure is going to be very, very hot. 
so use this glove to avoid a burn while you hold the wire in place. Once all the solder has cooled, inspect your connections for any loose cold solders or shorts between wires. If everything looks good, slip the plastic strain relief over your leads and add the metal shield, twisting it together with the boot to form your stereo quarter inch plug. I'm using these cables to go from the output of my lunchbox preamps to the line inputs of my interface. So the majority of these cables are female XLR on one side to come out of the lunchbox. And I'm using this male quarter inch plug on the other side to go into the line inputs. There's also a stereo compressor in the lunchbox. And to use that, we're coming out of line output five, six with two male balanced quarter inch cables going into the lunchbox with male XLRs. Then just like the others, we're taking female XLR out of the lunchbox and going into the line input five, six on my interface with male balanced quarter inch cables. I really like this Claret 8 Pre-X because you can hardwire a mic input and line input and switch between them using Focusrite control. This way I can keep my hardware compressor patched in and still switch over to a mic pre-input for recording flexible and accessible, just like DistroKid services with their new app. With the DistroKid app, you can see your DistroKid bank and get notified when you've earned royalties and withdraw cash straight from the app. You can check your streaming stats from Spotify and Apple and edit your account details to easily add or edit lyrics and song credits. The DistroKid app is now available for iOS and Android. Go to the App Store or Google Play Store to download it. So did you find these Neutrik plugs difficult to work with? If this video helped you out, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this one or not, that's useful too. I offer recording, mixing, and mastering services out of my studio. If you have a song you'd like mixed, get in touch with the link in the description. Let's get the mixes you need so you can focus on creating your best possible music. Thank you very much for watching and happy soldering. Just be me. Have some. Pain.